Hi guys, today we're going to talk about the Sony Xperia 1 and comparing HDR versus non-HDR. Now in the comparison with the Samsung Galaxy S10 versus this Xperia 1, a lot of people were asking, did you use manual and HDR? And no, I didn't, simply because a lot of people just use automatic or a setting that is easily recognizable for set situation, like night mode. For the Sony Xperia 1 though, it is still on the manual, which is really weird. I don't see why they would not put HDR in automatic. But with that being said, I'm interested to see the difference between manual HDR and of course automatic settings. So let's dive into this video and see how this one performs. So let's dive into this video and straight away compare pictures with each other. So for this first picture we can clearly see that the HDR version has more light to it where the non-HDR is a darker image. It is also noticeable that there is slightly better control on the light itself. And then again with this next picture we can again clearly see that there is much more control over the light itself. I like the image better with HDR on of course and it is actually quite a nice picture in low light. Now here again a low light picture and what we can straight away see is again more light being pushed on the HDR version. Now on this next picture you can again see that it's slightly brighter on the HDR version but also more detail is retained and you can actually see the tile effect on the roof itself. But with that being said having HDR on doesn't automatically make the picture better. There are two cases where I actually had a shot that doesn't look good at all with HDR on. Now here is a comparison that is pretty interesting. So on one shot I have HDR on and the other I don't. But the non-HDR is the picture that I prefer in this case. The HDR version has a lot of blur on the ground itself. It looks really weird and it doesn't look like a good picture at all. And here again it's really weird. With this picture there is slightly more light coming in with the HDR. But the HDR picture doesn't look good at all. There's no sharpness and it's blurry all over the place. But the most interesting thing that I'm actually looking forward to is in normal daylight conditions. Now in a normal shot comparison where there isn't a lot of light that can actually hurt an image itself, there isn't much difference between non-HDR and HDR on. Light isn't really affecting the image or anything like that, so the result is quite similar. However, in this picture, the difference is night and day. With HDR on, there is so much more detail in the picture and the sky is actually clearly visible, where on the non-HDR, it isn't. And here again, there is a difference. However, in this one, I do like the non-HDR better. There's more contrast to it and I like that slightly better on that image. And with this close-up of this flower, before it overexposed and yet again with non-HDR, of course, it overexposed the background. However, with HDR on, again, you can actually see the sky itself. And here, yet again, with HDR on, the image just looks so much more appealing. The colors are quite different between the two, but also the sky is much more visible. And I really like the dramatic setting that we actually get from the HDR picture. And when you get a bit closer to like these flower type things, I'm actually not sure what they are. But again you see a difference where there is much more overexposure on the clouds itself with the non-HDR versus the HDR version. Again though, the difference between colors is also quite noticeable. And here when I try to create a bit of depth with the shot itself, making the focus still the background, the clouds itself, I can clearly see again that the non-HDR has overexposure problems where the HDR one handles itself much better. And what I can in generally tell is that the HDR version also sometimes tends to look more dramatic than the non-HDR. It's a little bit less realistic to what we see in real life, but it can result in images that actually look really good. So in short, HDR clearly helps with images in daytime and sometimes also in nighttime. There are some cases where it does hurt itself with a lot of blur for some reason. I used the same camera shutter button and just held it a little bit and then take the shot for both of those. But in daylight I think it's most effective. I see quite a bit of difference between colors as well. But of course dynamic range is much better controlled with the HDR version. 
Again, I find it weird that they actually limit automatic mode by not having HDR in it. I think this is something Sony has to fix and I'm not alone in this. Also in manual HDR you cannot use the telephoto lens or the wide angle lens. So it is again somewhat limited with the three cameras that you have on the back. Sony just add the HDR in automatic settings and you would help out a lot of people. Anyway what do you think about the HDR versus non HDR and what is your opinion about Sony not adding it to automatic settings. I find it weird but I'm curious what your opinion is. I find it weird and I think it's something they can easily fix. Anyway let me know in the comments below and of course talk to you guys in the next.